Let me say this, you can be the most positive person in the world, but if your environment is not set up correctly, guess what, you are going to struggle. Too many countries go to war for what they believe the truth to be. And often it's around money. Whether it's a fighting around oil, they're fighting around land, it's all around money. What the world needs, I believe, whether it's a little village, a big town or a big city, or a big country, a little country, is education. Education of self and understanding of self. Education around money, that there is an abundance of money. Being creative and helping and adding a lot of value to other people will allow some of that money to get to you. So what the world needs, I believe, is education. So get educated, improve yourself, and improve your environment. That's what my belief is. Well, it's hard to answer that question, but let me say this. In order to answer that question, you've got to look at, okay, where do you want to be? What's the result you're trying to create in your life? Is it better results around money? Is it increasing your wealth? Is it becoming more happy? Is it better, becoming a better parent? Is it be, becoming better at sports? It doesn't matter what it is. But whatever you choose that you want to improve in, you have to give up something. And for some people, they want to improve in their business or they want to improve in their wealth. But guess what? They don't take any action in regards to that. But one area that they, some areas they do take a lot of action in is they spend too much time watching television. They spend too much time on social media. They're, doing, they're spending too much time in the pub or in the bar drinking. What if you, how much time does that take you? Is it two hours, three hours, four hours? How many hours a day are you watching TV or on social media? Let's say it's three hours. If you applied three hours in something else, that will make a big difference to your life. Would that be worthwhile? So you've got to choose. What is it you need to give up? Some of you need to give up watching the news too much because guess what? Watching the news repeatedly several times a day keeps you in a negative trance and is designed for you not to be able to get out of that trance in order to do something better. So what I would say is focus on what you want, put time, take time aside of what's not helping and then go for what you really want. So either give up negative people, taking too much of your time, give up spending too much time in the bar or the pub or the club, so spend, give up um, social media. Are you a producer on social media or are you a consumer of social media? You've got to make that decision. So that's my message to you. Thank you. The reason why some people don't come out of their comfort zone is because they have no burning desire. In other words, there's no purpose behind what they do. There's no big enough reason why for them to actually strive forward and do something else or change. And so that comfort zone stays in place. And guess what? As we say constantly, if you are not growing, you are automatically what? Dying. So you've got to start thinking about your future. What is my future? What do I really, really want when I project into two years from now, three years from now, five years from now, and create a picture, a vision of where you really want to be, because then that will create a purpose for you. And that purpose will drive you. It will give you more passion to go forward. So the reason why people don't come out of their comfort zone, I believe, is because there's, they, they, they don't have big reason why to, and a burning desire to do so. That's my belief. You can be the most positive person in the world. But if your environment is not set up correctly, guess what? You are going to struggle. I'll give you an analogy. Imagine that you say, I'm Mr. Positive. I'm Miss Positive. And I think positive things and, I, and my willpower is very strong. I can will this thing and I can make it happen. Imagine you're invited to the Antarctic where it's cold, it's freezing. And you're told, okay, just go onto the snow, go onto that land with just your swimming suit and be and, and say to yourself, I'm warm, I'm warm, I'm warm. Guess what? Within a few minutes, you'll freeze to death. Why? Because the environment is much stronger than your willpower. Your willpower in terms of, I'm positive, I'll do this, I'm optimistic. That's one thing. It will only take you far. 
but the people around you, the environment around you, the negative people around you sometimes will take you down faster than you can will yourself into positivity. So understand, at any given time, the environment that you are in, the people you surround yourself with, the work environment you are in is either lifting you up or it's taking you down. Environment is always stronger than willpower. Our school system is specifically designed for you to become an employee. Now, there's nothing wrong with that if that's your, your choice, but you must understand that many people don't understand that and sometimes end up as an employee for years and years in something that they don't enjoy. Our school system is designed to produce a work and labor force. What is it you really desire in your life? And is that, is that, would that the path of the employee take you there? Or do you need to become an entrepreneur or a business owner or a consultant or someone else that actually creates a life that they really desire? Now, if you want to be a scientist, a doctor, a pharmacist, whatever it is, and it's, it is very academical, it's very technical. Yes, you need to go to school. You need to go to university, you need to learn all that. But if that's not your path, guess what? Then you need to get creative and start offering something of value. You do that through having a business, right? Now, let's say this, and I say this to my children, because my son wants to be a scientist. He wants to be an engineer. He has to go to school to do that. He has to get good grades at university. He understands that. But he also, we had a conversation recently, he said, but dad, does that mean I can't run my own business? I said, on the contrary, son, on the contrary. Go and get the education, but guess what? Instead of becoming an employee, now you set up a company, and guess what? You hire other engineers and other scientists to work for you. He's beamed in smile and says, you mean I can do, yes, you can do that. So the choice is always yours. So our school system is designed to create the labor force, but you've got to understand what do you want and then go for that. That's what I want to say to that. I believe this is the best time in more than a hundred years to create success in your life. Whether it's financially, whether it's relationships, whatever it is, whether it's in business, Right now, you have access to so much technology and that technology can be used for good or bad. If you utilize the technology correctly, guess what? You can compete from your room and compete with big companies around the world using internet technology, using mobile application, knowing what, to get, what business to go into and how to apply the skills that you've learned will get you be able to compete with some of the big companies around the world. So right now, millennial, if you are a millennial, know that the difference between where you are now and where you want to be is to get the right education in business, in finance, in health, in relationships, and in terms of knowing yourself. That's going to make the biggest difference because if you want to move from here to there, know that it, the difference between there and then is knowing what to do, getting the right resources, the right information, the right education. Well, simply, those who know me know that I'm passionate about training and coaching. I'm passionate about transforming people to their big self, to their huge potential. Why? Because there was a time in my life where I was struggling where I was playing small, where I was over $100,000 in debt. And I had some people who helped me, helped me to transform my life. And now I had better relationships, more money, more wealth. And I love doing and helping other people to do that. When I came to a realization that I'm supposed to be playing a bigger game, and I started having some successes in my life, I realized my mission, my purpose, my why on this earth is to inspire, educate and empower people to live a life of joy, courage, passion and purpose. And so the reason why I do that is because it's my mission, I believe, that whilst I'm alive, whilst I'm breathing, it's my mission to help you to have more joy, more happiness, more courage, more passion, more purpose, more better results, more wealth. And that's why I do what I do.